Hi, welcome to Just Lab Sim Racing videos. So, well, let's talk about graphics today and race room experience. So, a lot of people are complaining or arguing or uh, telling me that, uh, well, race room experience has outdated graphics, is looking bad, and so on. So, this is not really true. So, I will show you really how bad race room experience can look on your screen and really how good can it look in full quality. So I show you all the settings that are relevant for this, how you can tweak it a little bit. And well, here we go. First of all, I will show you how bad really race room experience can look. Here we go. So before we start, I want to show you the current settings of this, let's say, bad graphics mode. So I have a full screen display that's uh, not really essential, an aspect ratio of 16 to 9, and we have uh, resolution for full HD of 1920 by 1080. Of v sync is switched to on, and also the menu hot resolution set to 1080. From the point of graphics, I've chosen the minimum that's uh, here in race room. So we have a simple cube map. We have no car shadows. We have uh, reduced the contact shadows to one. We have no shadow split, lowest car texture quality, rear view mirror quality to low. Number of physical cars does not really matter. So I set it to maximum. Car level of details, distance setting to low, shader quality, particle detail, track level of detail. Everything set to low, no traffic animations, texture, uh, quality of the track also to lowest, no shadows, no tire marks, no specular, no anti-aliasing, no FXAA, no bloom, motion blur and motion blur quality set to off respectively to low, and no light shots, lens effects or depth of field. And when you go to the advanced tabs, uh, so I've set on the corner markers, which are from my point of view always a little bit irritating, but I switched them on for the, let's say, for the bad. Uh, settings. Steering animation is going to match setup, that's uh, always okay, and the wheel rotation 360 degrees, uh, this fits in the most cases. Show the driver's seat, we will want to see the driver's seat for sure, if uh, we switch through several uh, views. And uh, the animated driver wheel enhanced, you can also switch these things off, but I leave them on for now, because uh, I show you most times the uh, bumper view. So here we go. So well, for this uh, race for low quality, uh, well, I'm going to choose also one of the uh, long released cars for the older cars. So we take one from the ADAC GT Masters from 2013. Well, let's go. Let's take this Chevrolet Corvette. And from the track, I've already chosen it. It's the Auto German Most. Uh, check uh, circuit so let's go choose this track here it's also a track that has been long time ago released so well here we go let's choose this track and let's go so well now you can see the result of our low graphic settings and of the 1080p resolution this is well let's say not really uh, satisfying graphics as you can see so the cars without shadows, they seems to fly a little bit over the tarmac and uh, some, some strange shadows popping up and down and uh, all in all it looks like, uh, let's say, a little bit more than a decade ago, the graphics quality all in all is uh, not really uh, satisfying. So it is just uh, the standard uh, trackside uh, view here and you can see also the, the car is a little bit moving strange you don't have really the impression that is is a good <laughs> racing sim regarding the graphics look at this the tire seems to have no contact or sinking into the tarmac not really good so i'm just going to show you a little bit of slow-mo of this so it's more clear how it looks now so now let's see here this slow-mo and you can see the shadows, which is just one shadow for one car, and it's popping up here, popping up there, and very poor, poor details of the track and of the cars. But now I'm going to show you how good, how damn good, really, race room experience can look. So, so well, here we go now, and change the graphics. I'm already in a 4K resolution. 
And here we go, changing the settings. You can see I've chosen the full screen and uh, 4K resolution. We think it's already 200. We go to the graphics. Instead of the simple cube map, we choose the full 1K car reflection quality, enable the car shadows, put the car shadows to max, enable the shadow split, go to high with car texture quality, go to high rear view, rear mirror quality, visible cars already at the maximum, go with everything to the highest possible things we can choose, enable the track animations, go to high tracks, track texture quality, enable high shadows, enable the tire marks, enable the specular, go to A times AA. This is really important for the performance, I can tell you. So multi-sampling, if you going to have some performance problem you can for sure lower this to four times a so the effects in 4k are not so relevant for fxa i have to tell you uh, i'll leave this off even in that uh, best resolution from my point of view enabling fxa is sharpening the picture too much which uh, gives it a little bit an unnatural look for sure bloom we set to on motion blur set to complex motion blur quality, set it to ultra, enable light shaft, lens effects and the depth of field. So we have now enabled everything that's possible, disable the corner markers because I don't really like them, enable the opponent cockpits and toggle mirrors. So well the other things I did not change so far so we leave this as it is and now we go back and choose the current track. So for now I've chosen uh, 911 GD3R from ADSC GD Masters 2020. Remember we had the cars from the GD Masters 2013 before in the uh, low resolution and uh, low details. And uh, I've chosen the Indianapolis Motor Speedway road course, which is the most newest track here in race room experience. And well, here we go. Have a look then add the graphics with this new highest possible settings. How will it look now? Here we go. So here we are now in 4K resolution with full details with everything enabled that's possible. And uh, just uh, from my point of view, a little hint uh, to get the best view possible. When you're going to choose the camera, from my point of view, best thing to choose is the action camera. For sure you can uh, cycle through all the other cams. The graphics quality still remains done and the same, but from my point of view, action cam is uh, really the best to give you the best uh, experience. So when you have a look at the background, so the, the track surroundings, there uh, might be some work to be done with the cars you see in the background and so on. They are not so detailed as maybe in other sims, but the race cars itself they are really looking good and well here we go with that action cam replay and you can see at once the huge difference to the low resolution and to the low details so cars are looking absolutely fantastic now with that blurry background This is really not comparable to the low resolution and to the low quality options. It's really looking fantastic. As you can see, but as I said, it's depending too on the cars and on the track quality of each single track has another quality and the newer tracks come with really incredible quality. Look at the details of the cars passing by here, and of course, uh, the, this action cam gives you the best view of all, from my point of view, for sure. As I said, you can cycle through all the other cams, use the other cams, but this action cam gives you the best experience here. So cars are looking pretty good, but that's not all. 
So I will show you in a few moments how you can still improve these graphics. If it maybe it looks a little bit too artificial for you, I say, oh, I want to like a little bit more natural look of this. There's a possibility there are some hidden options in race room, which really not everyone is aware of. And I'll show you in a few moments how to tweak the graphics quality, the visuals to get a more natural look. So, well, here we go now. I'll show you now how to tweak a little bit the settings of your race room experience graphics. The first thing you have to do is go into Steam. Go into your Steam account, locate the race room racing experience, and then go to manage. Go to browse local files. So you need to find where your local restroom experience files are located. Next thing is open the game folder. Then you will see a folder that's called shaders. Go to shaders. Then you have a folder called DX9. As maybe you already know that uh, restroom experience is uh, running on DX9 EX. Go to the DX9 folder and then Go to the FX folder and you will see a folder on the top which is called Moods. Go to Moods and you will see several dot .mood files. In this case now, this is just a file, it's called default.mood. So you can go and rename this file. For example, name it old.mood. Then you can see we have four other .mood files. We have a realistic .mood, we have a standard, we have a standard day, and we have an XProc mood. From my point of view, I'm going usually to choose the realistic .mood. This is, uh, from my point of view, the best one. So you can just choose this one or make a copy of this here. So you have a realistic copy .mood. Rename this and just rename this one to default.mood. So now you have changed successfully the shaders for race room experience. And well, here we go and have a look at the game again. So here we are again in a replay. That's the same replay as just before. Same quality, 4K. All options enabled and uh, as you can see there's a quite different look and the optics looks much more natural from my point of view now the colors are more natural not so hard colors the colors come over a little bit soft and uh, as I said from my point of view much more natural look I don't know if you also have the same impression but for me it looks much much better uh, than the standard with the standard mood file you can go and try out the others too they are also not bad from my point of view this one here is uh, realistic mood is really the best look at this nice uh, Porsche here it's looking so natural now I'm also going to switch a little bit through the other cams here but it's really looking great from my point of view now that's the best you can get out at the moment from restroom experience. Just let them move around the next corner here. We'll have again a little bit closer look at one of the cars. Looking really great here. Look at this Porsche, very absolutely detailed now in great colors. So we're now at the aerial view of the helicopter view and also in this view uh, graphics are looking pretty good now with this realistic mood going to the TV cam that's a, that's a static cam a static TV cam and that's a standard TV cam where also the cars are looking pretty good now a clear view on all of all the three the low options the high options in 4k and of course with that realistic mood are done it's up to you to decide 
which graphics fit best for you, fit best for your graphics card. But I can tell you, uh, when trying out what fits best for you, if you have some performance problem, just start reducing DAA. Go back from eight times to four times. It will help a lot gaining back performance. And then try reducing some track details, which are really not essential. Try to reduce then some shadows, but only in small steps, and you will find out the best settings for your graphics card. Even you can lower down the resolution to 1440p, it looks also great in 4040p. That's sometimes better to keep all the details at maximum and lower the resolution to 2K, respectively 1440 with this nice turnaround of this Porsche. I say thanks a lot for watching. Enjoy the comparison of that views and if you like this video give me a thumb up, subscribe to my channel. See you soon back in the track. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Bye bye.